Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, you got here just in time. We're currently set up at Call Lake, K-A-W, Call Lake Coon Creek Campground. Corps of Engineer Campground. Northern, North Central Oklahoma. Beautiful little Corps of Engineer Campground. We're done here. We spent one night here. Man, it was a beautiful night. But it's time for us to roll on down the road. Today's adventure, we are gonna be driving from Call Lake down to the Chickasaw National Recreation Area. And we're gonna pay a visit to Buckhorn Creek Campground in the, uh, at Lake of the Arbuckles, Arbuckle Lake. I think it's Lake of the Arbuckles, in the Arbuckle Mountains, Oklahoma. So let's get on the road and head down to Buckhorn Creek Campground, Lake of the Arbuckles. Let's go. Chickasaw National Recreation Area in Oklahoma. Took us quite a bit longer than we expected. We, we were expecting a maybe a three hour drive, but it really took close to five hours. Of course, we were going down through rural Oklahoma and Dodge, Oklahoma City. So my reservations were for site number 86. Loop C, site number 86. Couldn't get level. Slopes too much at the rear. Fortunately, there were a couple of sites open. An 83 filled our bill. There's some really nice sites here. There's not a whole lot that are big rig friendly. Most of them are in the 80 up in the 80s on Loop C. So site number 83, asphalt pad, side to side, perfect, spot on. Front to rear, well, I had to block up the rear tires. We are water and electric. It is 30 amp, I mean 50, 30 and 50. There we go, 30 and 50. Lots of shade and a great big gravel patio. Kind of convenient to the neighbor, but not, not too bad. We have a fire ring and cooker. The ubiquitous lantern hook in a wheelchair friendly wooden topped picnic table. It looks like there may be a trail going down to the water. Anyway, we're gonna grab a bite of lunch and then we'll go see some stuff. Buckhorn Creek camping area. 
Look at the Arbuckles. Chickasha, Chickasha National Recreation Area. There's Lake of the Arbuckles. Beautiful clear water. I mean, that is just super clear. Do a little more exploring here. This is just down from my campsite so I didn't have a water access site. So far I haven't seen any water access RV sites, but <clears throat> I've only just started looking. So let's go see some more stuff. If you're coming out to the Chickasaw National Recreation Area and you're planning on staying at the Buckhorn Creek uh, Recreation Area, Loop D, I would be recommending. Loop D because, look at that. Nice big open meadow, easy to access, Lake of the Arbuckles. Only downside is during the summer, as you can see, those three sites are right in the sun. That's site number 112 we're looking at right there. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Buckhorn Creek Recreation Area actually has some very nice walk-in tent sites. Loop D. Way back here at 111. Check this out. You're right on the water. Well, little little red left me stranded again. <laughs> Fortunately, I wasn't too far from from camp, and so uh, I'm driving Yappy's car. Anyway, this video is not about that. This video is about Chickasaw National Recreation Area, the Buckhorn Buckhorn Creek camp area buckhorn camp area this is a public fishing dock it's over by the boat ramp that's a big old boat ramp too i'm sure you have to have a oklahoma fishing license to fish here but this is nice i mean you they even provide you with a place to park your butt some stools. Lots of room. Can't tell how deep the water is. I didn't bring my little depth finder. I should have. I forgot. So the Buckhorn Campground area, Chickasaw National Recreation area. It must be a very popular boat ramp because they've got this huge, huge floating boat dock. And that's a pretty, pretty dang big boat ramp if you ask me. All right, let's go find some more stuff. So I'm reading a sign here at, at Buckhorn Creek area and it's talking about from the the history of the park the chickasaw national recreation area came into being in 1976 by merging historic platte national park founded in 1906 with arbuckle recreation area created in 1966 so the lake serves as a reservoir for water supplies and flood control huh Okay, there's all kinds of fish in this lake. It looks like there's the dam over there. Here I am at the Buckhorn area, Lake of the Arbuckles, Chickasaw, Chickasaw National Recreation Area. There are a number of very beautiful day use areas. September 13. How beautiful is that? Man. And also very quiet. Not, not as quiet as where we were yesterday, but 
very quiet nonetheless. All right, let's go see if we can find some more stuff. Chickasaw National Recreation Area. Lake of the Arbuckles Buckhorn Area. Keep wanting to call this Buckhorn Creek, but it's it's not. It's just the Buckhorn Area. There are four camping lists. They're identified in alpha, new, alphabetical order. A, B, C, and D. A and B are primitive. There's no power. There's communal water somewhere. And we're in B. Look how beautiful this is. And it's virtually deserted. I've only seen one other car. Well, there's a park host right up there. And then there's a pickup. I think that's somebody hiking. That's just so, that's so beautiful. That is a very large bass. It's a deceased bass but it is a monster nonetheless i'd have enjoyed tying on to that one all right let's go see if we can find some more stuff lake of the lake of the arbuckles i don't know how that how this how it got its name i don't have data connection right now we'll find out how did lake of the arbuckles get its name it's got to be the our buckles got to be something here to give it that name. We are in primitive camping loop A. Loop A. There are there are four loops A, B, C, and D. A and B are primitive. So as you see, easy access to the water here if you don't need power and you don't mind going up there for getting your drinking water. There is a bathroom, so if the weather's nice and you got an air mattress, this would be a good place to spend the night fishing. Good morning, Chickasha National Recreation Area, Buckhorn, Buckhorn area. You know, it really, we arrived here yesterday, about two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon. And then this trailer came in right after us. 
and there's they set it up and they left. There's two others. There are two other RV trailers here where there's there's nobody camping on them. I don't understand. It's not like you have to hold a site. It's not first come, first serve. It's all reserved through the recreation.gov. I, I don't understand why people would spend that much money to park a trailer just to hold a site when you can reserve it online. And it, besides that, it ties it up for us because we had to, fortunately this site was open the site that we tried to, that I had reserved, had too much grade. We couldn't get, couldn't even get close to being leveled. So we needed to relocate to a different site. Had one of those empty trailers been sitting in this, we'd have had to just keep going. Anyway, I'll stop raining. The Little Red is once again dead. And it's not not anything that I can troubleshoot and resolve. It's not anything I can troubleshoot and resolve here on on location. So I'll be doing our driving our our virtual tour will be done using Yappy's Infinity. I'll be I'll be doing the virtual tour in style. Rather frustrating, but I have I have a solution for all of this. I gotta make some breakfast. Well, my friends, that brings us to the end of our all too very brief visit to the Chickasaw National Recreation Area, Buckhorn area. Too many areas in all of this. Oh, a Buckhorn campground, but then that doesn't cover. Anyway, we're done here. We gotta, we gotta scoot on back. We got some warning work ready to be done on Trudy. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you coming along for the visit. And for those of you who haven't been following along, thank you so very much. <laughs> That's why I get to visit all these cool places. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?